if you've never meditated, this is how it's done. You close your eyes and you take a couple of good long, deep in and out breaths. Notice where you feel the breathing. And if long breathing feels good, keep it up. Otherwise, you can change it, make it slower, faster, deeper, more shallow, heavier, lighter, shorter. Try to find what kind of breathing feels best for the body right now. What you're trying to do is get anchored here in the present moment, because it's our actions in the present moment that shape our life. We've done things in the past, and that shapes the present we've got right now. And we're also shaping the present by our intentions right now, and this will have an impact on into the future. You can't change your past actions, but you can change your present ones, and you want to be clear about what they are. So that's where you want to be right here in the present moment. Especially when you're making up your mind you want to do something important, you want to be really, really still to watch the mind, to make sure your mind is well grounded. If the mind is well grounded, then your actions are going to be well grounded. They'll come from a position of strength, a position of clarity. So that's why it's good to get the mind to stay right here. If it wanders off, you bring it back. If it wanders off again, you bring it back again. It's like training a puppy. You have to be firm but gentle at the same time. In other words, don't yank it back to the present moment, otherwise it's going to run away. But you can't just let it wander around, because if it wanders around, just go back to its old habits and you'll be able to see what you're doing, see what your intentions are. That happens so many times. People get asked, why did you do that? Why did you say that? And they have to stop and think for a while. They don't, they don't remember. They don't know. And because your intentions are actually shaping your life, that's like handing your whole life over to who knows who. It's like giving your car over to a crazy person. A crazy person can drive it off anywhere, because there's nobody in charge. But if you're in charge of your intentions, then what you do and say and think will come out of good intentions. And that will have a good impact on your life. So try to get well grounded right here. If the mind wanders off again, okay, bring it back and reward it with a really good breath. So it likes to stay here in the present moment. Because all kinds of important things happen here in the present moment. Your intentions, and also when aging comes, it comes here in the present moment. When illness comes, it comes right here. When death comes, it comes right here. But you don't have to suffer from those things if you've trained the mind well. The good things that happen in life, they'll come in the present moment too, and you want to be able to handle them skillfully. When you're really, really happy, you don't want to get careless. So you want to be watchful, but watchful in a way that's comfortable and well-established. That's why we meditate. That's why we work with the breath, to make it a comfortable place to stay. So the good things that happen in life and the, un the things that aren't so good when they happen in life, the mind will still stay solid, and it learns how to trust itself. This is one of the scariest things in life, is an inabil inability to trust yourself. You can't really know for sure when something's going to happen, how you're going to behave. That's the scariest thing in life at all. So you want to be able to trust your mind so you know that whatever comes up, you'll handle it skillfully. You won't cause any suffering for others, you won't cause any suffering for yourself. That's a mind that's well-trained, knows how to find a true happiness where the, there's no clear boundary between your happiness and the happiness of those around you, and the happiness overcomes boundaries. It really gets shared. This is the goodness that comes out of things like generosity, it comes from virtue, the goodness that comes from meditation. It's a happiness that erases boundaries, so people of different cultures, different backgrounds, they can still get together and have a sense of commonality. This is how we live together in the world, by looking for our happiness in ways that are skillful, ways that are not harmful, ways that actually lead not only to our happiness but to the happiness of those around us.